Yeah, hi, for this uh, Agile CRM tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add uh, DKIM and SPF settings uh, to uh, your GoDaddy uh, account uh, in at, from Agile CRM. Uh, what I'm going to do is really quickly, as you can see, I've, uh, I've entered the campaigns area, and I'm going to open this campaign up, and I want to change the from email to an email address uh, uh, from my domain. So I'm going to click add new. I'm going to enter that email address. Click send verification. As you can see I need to configure DKIM and SPF to proceed. So what I need to do is open that link. These settings are also, they are located in the admin, area, the admin settings area, click your account, admin settings, and then you will scroll down to analytics, and then DKIM and SPF settings are here at the bottom. What I need to do is add my domain and click get settings. There's an uh, MX. Uh, record at the top. Uh, the middle one would be the SPF record and the bottom record would be the DKIM. Uh, these, uh, the SPF and DKIM records, uh, they're going to improve email deliverability. It just uh, gives the, the systems, uh, the email client, uh, it, it's the guarantee that you are a legitimate sender of the email. So I'm going to go to my GoDaddy account I'm going to add these settings. So what you want to do is, uh, as you open up your GoDaddy account, log in. This is the screen that you're going to be presented with. Locate domains and click manage. And then you want to click DNS and manage zones. And then just, you know, enter the domain that you're searching for. Let's give it a second to load up. As you can see, we are in the DNS management area, and the records are here at the bottom. So I want to click Add, and the first one is going to be this MX record. So I'm just going to quickly copy that, select uh, MX. This first uh, bit of code here. Let me just drag this back into position. Under the host column is going to be pasted here. The points to is going to be the data column here in Agile. Just highlight that and copy it and then paste it. The priority, I'm going to give it a priority of one. Click Save. Now, uh, Often with GoDaddy, you might receive an unexpected error message. Um, don't be alarmed. Uh, even though that error has occurred, as uh, we can see here, I'm going to refresh. We can see that the record has been added. You can see this record right here was added. So uh, don't be alarmed by that error. It, it, it will be added. So I need to go to my second. This is a TXT record. I'm going to copy the host, click Add. This TXT would need to be selected. Paste the host, and then we need the data, which is the SPF. And then click Save. As you can see, that same error has popped up, but don't be alarmed again. We can just uh, even go ahead and refresh here. And then lastly, we have another TXT record. This is going to be the DKIM record. As you can see, that last one was added, even though that uh, error message popped up. So I'm going to paste the host. And then this last data, I'm going to paste here in the TXT value and click Save. And again, I'm going to refresh.
and we can see within the dashboard that these records have been added. Whoops, these three records here. So what I'm going to do is go back to Agile and I'm going to click Verify. As you can see, the three records, you know, uh, were valid. So now, you know, I would be able to go to the campaign and then add that new email address and the system at this point will send the verification email to the correct um, to my email address so that is how to add the the email settings to your GoDaddy account if you have any questions or you run into the issues we certainly advise that you contact your email domain host and they would be able to help you uh, add these settings. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching.